Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Microsoft Teams. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and find our way to integration, which is actually the easiest way is to use search engine and just type here Airtable.com slash integrations. As you can see, once we are here, we can pick from a couple of integrations, uh, but if you won't be able to find the integration that you are looking for, we have two options. First of which is using automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description down below. Once we are here at automate.eo, we want to hover over integrations, which is on the top right or top middle ish corner, and we want to go to see all categories. In this search engine right now, we want to go with Airtable as our first app. So we click on Airtable and the second app is obviously Microsoft Teams. So we are about to connect them. Yeah, as you can see, Microsoft Teams second in here. Uh, now we have popular integrations. You can already pick from a couple of those, but if none of them fits you, you can create your own integration. Since we want to start with Airtable as our first one, we want to go with new record or update a record. So let's go with new record. And this will be the action triggered by Airtable. Let's say send a chat message. Now we all need to do is just try it now, which will redirect you to the sign in to the automate and basically helps you finish your, your integration. Second way how we can do this is uh, through Zapier.com. We also have to create an account here to make it work. And we, uh, after we do that, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Once we are here, uh, we can name our Zap like uh, Airtable uh, to Teams, for example. We press enter and it's the same principle same principle like let's go with the first one will be obviously Airtable trigger event new record continue now we have to log into the account that we created a couple of minutes ago continue and the base is basically the first workspace that is provided for us by Airtable so what's this one if you're experienced user with uh, Airtable probably you have a couple of more options and table yeah let's go like this yeah we have to wait a bit continue and right now we can test our trigger the second action is actually uh, the zap going to be affected by the first one, by the Airtable. In our case, it's Teams. We press Microsoft Teams. We have to choose an event, so let's go with the first one. Continue. And the last thing is just we have to sign in with Microsoft Teams and that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.